So it has been quite the day. Let me fill you in on how our move into our new build has been going. Hey there, welcome back to Lime and Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. Yesterday was the second day that we were getting stuff into our house and it was quite overwhelming and it still kind of is. There's a whole bunch of stuff behind me that still needs to find a space in our new home. We just got the keys almost a week ago now and have been slowly bringing like the essentials in but the last two days were like full on stuff from storage, stuff from where we were living before. And now it's like really overwhelming. So if you haven't checked out my other previous two videos, one where we get the keys and do an empty house tour, as well as kind of like our move in days, make sure you guys go check that out. But today I'm gonna to show you just kind of like what we got done today and probably over the next couple of days, kind of keep you guys involved in how this is looking and how long it actually takes to get all of this put away and tidy. So as you guys can see, our boxes have dwindled, but that just means a whole lot more stuff that needs to be put away. Now I wasn't working alone and per I like to do like one box at a time, find a space, start a new box. Well, my husband and the people who helped him out are like, let's unbox everything all at once and then find a spot for it. So our styles of unpacking are kind of clashing and it's overwhelming for me, but I know that eventually everything will find a spot and it'll be fine. I did manage to get our duvet cover. We found that and so I put the duvet in the duvet cover and obviously I had to search on YouTube like a little trick for how to do it. So I will link, I'll try to remember to link the video that I used down below in the description box, but essentially you take the duvet cover put it inside out and then put the duvet on top, tie all the corners, you know, to the duvet cover. And then you roll it up like a burrito from the non-zippered side to the zippered side. Then with the zipper open, obviously you fold that on top of the burrito and then like unroll it. So anyways, I'll refer you guys to that video, but it ended up being a lot easier than it would have been trying to stuff the duvet in the duvet cover. We also unpacked a lot of like items that we got for our wedding, but just never used because we wanted our new home eventually to incorporate our new stuff. So we have like brand new fresh towels, we have like a nice like luxury type robe. And then like I said, like a bunch of just new fresh towels that are super soft and I'm so excited to use them finally. I also started putting some plates away and we have like a whole bunch and let me explain why. So as many of you guys probably know, both Juan and I are from families with five kids. So our families are huge. And when we got married and like registered for all this stuff, we were like, you know what? We're gonna have gatherings and there's gonna be a whole lot of people and also thinking like things will break you know we we don't want like to have too little i think we overestimated big time but we are going to have plenty of plates for parties and hopefully everyone who comes over to our house will you know feel special having our wedding gifts like still here and like using them for the parties but in preparation of like putting some of these guys away, I did a load with our like white plates and the water connection for the first time I tried to run the load, it didn't even have any water in the dishwasher. So then Juan fixed that back up and he connected it. And then we ran a load to like wash the dishes, just kind of get them fresh out of the storage. And the whole thing started leaking under the sink. So we were kind of disappointed about that. Like this is supposed to be a new house and everything's supposed to be like perfect, but that's an issue. We've, we're, kind, we're finding like little tiny issues here and there, which obviously the nice thing is we can get fixed by um, KB Homes, but it's just a bummer that like we actually have to get it fixed in the first place. We also got a lot of our little devices out and like in its rightful spot so I'm excited to like use our bread machine and make like pizzas and breads and rice cooker for sure Aubrey loves rice as well as like a waffle maker and our deep fryer so these are all things that we use often and I'm excited to start using once this place is 
you know, cleared off and we can actually use the counters. And then this is a major, major change. All of the toys we've ever owned and had in storage have wound up like pretty much in Aubrey's room. So it is a disaster in here, but I'm looking forward to doing a deep clean. So my plan for all of this stuff is to do like a seasonal rotation. So the fact that it's all mixed together, it kind of bothers me, but at least she was playing really nicely in here most of the day, talking to herself. She was even like standing in front of the mirror and just like chatting away. So I'm very happy that she is enjoying her new room and, you know, rediscovering a lot of these toys that she hasn't seen for almost two years and doesn't remember at all. But obviously there's just way too much stuff. It's overstimulating. So I will eventually be kind of categorizing and I'll do a whole video on this, categorizing the toys and then taking like little bit from each category and doing a seasonal rotation. So stay tuned for that sometime in the future, but it definitely needs to get done sooner rather than later. I guess the last little update is our laundry room. So we actually have the machines here and they're in their like spots. We can't really change where they will. I can't move them to be more aesthetically pleasing. The washer works, but the dryer doesn't. We need some type of connection. And I don't know if I said this in my previous video, but we need some type of connection that isn't here. And so Juan ordered the part. It should be getting here tomorrow. And I'm, you know, excited to do laundry because we got a lot of stuff that was packed away and maybe has some bugs in it or, you know, I just want it to be like fresh when you use this stuff. So I got a lot of laundry that is going to be done soon. Good morning, guys. I did not film yesterday because it was just too hectic. And by the time I was going to show you guys what I did, it was already too late. So I figured I'd just check in right now. Now I am... My skin is so dry. It must be really dry where we're living now. So that's going to be an adjustment. But let me show you guys just a few of the things that we actually got done yesterday. Hey, big guy. So we, my mother-in-law and I moved that little piece in here. We got some other pillows we found from some of our boxes. One of the big things is that I really wanted the couch in its place so that I could feel like there's actually more progress done. So we pushed some of the remaining boxes to the back and moved the couch where it needs to be. And now we can just kind of go one by one, put some of the furniture where it needs to be. We got the little chest that my dad made for us in its place. So some of the bigger things are now in its place and it'll be easier to put the little things away. We also got our dishwasher fixed and working, so hopefully I'll be able to run a load and nothing will go wrong today. We've also suffered one of our first casualties. So if you know how to get crayon off of cabinets, let me know. I don't know if a magic eraser would work or if I need to use like LA Totally Awesome or whatever from Dollar Tree or if there's something else. So let me know down in the comments how to get crayon off cabinets. This is also Aubrey's decorating. She uh, has been going around using some of our trash to decorate the house. And I think I've already mentioned, but our dryer was missing like a part and that came in yesterday. So Juan was able to fix that. And so now I'm running like the second load of laundry and just trying to get like all of the clothes and sheets and blankets that were in storage kind of cleaned so that it's not so dusty and gross and possible bugs. So that is gonna be one of my main things today. I also need to upload or start editing my video for this Friday. So I may actually spend not a lot of time packing or unpacking, I mean, uh, today, just because I wanna keep you know the content coming for you guys. So that might be one of my priorities and you know just kind of keep plugging away at some of these kitchen boxes but we will make sure to check in soon won't we huh yeah your skin looks really bad in the camera but it's not so bad in person yeah hi bubs yeah i love you too hey guys so it has been a minute since i checked in the last time i filmed it was tuesday and today is thursday we had a tv delivered in the meantime and I can't say that I've done too much unpacking because um, yesterday my mother-in-law left 
uh, and is not helping me anymore. And so I'm kind of just taking care of the kids all day and just doing a million loads of laundry. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I have one drying right now. So unfortunately my house is still a complete mess, <laughs> but I'm, you know, giving myself a little bit of grace and just trying to be okay with the fact that my place and my house is gonna be horrendous for a while, but eventually it will it'll sort itself out. We did get rid of like two boxes of stuff already. My aunt uh, was nice enough to take it off our hands and bring it to Goodwill for us. So I plan on getting a couple more boxes of old belongings just out of here to clear up some space. And another reason I really haven't done much, you can hear the little guy, he's the culprit. The last two nights he hasn't been sleeping as nicely as uh, he was previously. So when I, when my mother-in-law was here um, on Tuesday, I really didn't get too much done because I took a nap and I needed that. Yesterday I really needed a nap and couldn't take one because I didn't, it, it just didn't work out schedule wise. So I'll show you like a quick little pan of what our house looks like right now. But again, like I said, not much progress really has been made. I am proud of the kitchen so far. Pretty much everything has been organized. There's a couple cabinets where I kind of feel like I need some type of organizing containers to really make everything fit with a purpose and to utilize the space well. So some of the cabinets are not quite done, but there's a good number of kitchen cabinets that are nicely organized and you know, just everything has a spot and it's gonna function really nicely for us. And the last thing I wanna mention before I kind of check out and you know, wait until there's more to show you guys is I have like a good three or four boxes of just decorations and I don't plan on using all of them because not all of them fit the aesthetic that I'm going for but I'm hoping to hang up like a couple things today or within the next couple of days with Juan and hopefully that will kind of make me feel like more progress has been made. But as far as the decorations I'm not using, I don't know if I'm going to give them away, throw them away, I'd feel bad about that, uh, or try to sell them. I don't know how, how many, who would buy my, my decorations, I don't know. But that's going to be, you know, a whole nother issue. But I think once we get those boxes kind of opened and things on the walls, it'll start to feel more like a home and it'll also feel like we're making big progress. But I think I'm gonna just sign off on this video right now. I don't want it to get too long and I really don't know how long all this is gonna take me. So I will make sure to check in with you guys when everything's been put away. It may not be pretty and put away, but it will be put away. And I'll show you guys kind of what our house looks like when that's the case. And uh, I also have a couple other videos planned in the meantime. So uh, thank you again for watching. If you guys are new, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe and see all that I have to offer and my little one <laughs> to see him grow up. And if you guys like this video or just know the pains of unpacking, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.